What's up guys, Nick here with NorCal Kayak Adventures. I've been really busy doing halibut guided trips here in the San Francisco Bay Area. If you guys are interested in a trip, interested in getting into kayaking, or maybe you've never been on the ocean before, definitely hit me up on Instagram or at norcalkayakadventures at gmail.com. So right now, as you guys can see, I'm getting ready to go catch some bait. So I'm about to catch some live bait for my clients tomorrow and I thought you guys would enjoy coming with me. This video is all about how to catch live bait on a budget. If you have a couple local spots like I do, then it's going to save you a lot of trips to the tackle shop. A lot of money on bait. So I'm going to go over everything you need to catch bait yourself. Everything from catching the bait, storing the bait for 24 hours. And last, I'll show you how to rig up the bait for halibut, stripers, pretty much anything in the bay. The bait of choice today is Live Baby Smelt, which is my favorite bait for halibut and striped bass. But first, let's go over some of this equipment. And first things first, guys, you're gonna need something to catch the bait with. This is a cast net with a six foot radius. So when this net is fully extended, it'll have a diameter of 12 feet. I like six feet radius nets. They're not too difficult to throw and they're still big enough where you can really do some damage on some bait. It's also versatile so I can use it on the kayak, use it from shore. I can catch those really fast, hard to catch baits too. And there's another dimension that you have to look at when you're buying these cast nets and that's the size of the holes of the net. Normal nets that you see at a tackle shop are normally 3 8 inch which is a little too big for the type of bait that we're going to be catching today. So I ordered a quarter inch net rather than a 3 8 inch net, which is slightly smaller. I'll leave the link in the description below. Next, after the cast net, you're going to need a way of getting water. And a lot of the times you're fishing on maybe piers or on top of rocks, so it's hard to reach water. This is a must have. This is a collapsible bucket. You can get them at any tackle shop has a rope on it so you can just throw it down get some water pull it up and put it in your bucket and next you're going to need something to hold the water and hold your live bait i just use a classic five gallon bucket from home depot the way i use this live bait this is plenty enough for two clients and myself this five gallon bucket with an eight gallon bubbler can hold up to 25 little live smelt so we talked about getting water for our live bait and the quality of the water is super important for how long this bait stays alive for. If the water you get from the bay or the ocean is really green, really brown, uh, they're not gonna live as long as if the water is really clear. After a couple days of being alive in the bubbler, the water starts getting dirtier and dirtier. And if you don't replace it daily, then they could die. The bubbler I use is this bubble box. They're about $10. I'll leave the link in the description below. It takes 2D batteries and it lasts for 44 hours. Already comes with a tube and a stone, as well as a piece of lead that you can wrap around the stone to keep it submerged. This doesn't look like a lot of bubbles, but smelt don't require circulating water. This is plenty enough air and bubbles. So let's get out there, do a couple casts, catch a couple of these things.
Two. All right, guys, so we made it back home. I just turned off the pump so you can hear me a little better and see these little guys. Once you find a good spot, um, they normally come back to that same area during the same tides. So remember the tide that you caught these guys at and then go back there when you need them. But I have maybe about 50 or 60 live smelts in here. Perfect bait size here, three to five inches. If you guys don't know, I'm doing halibut charters here in the Bay Area. And if you book a trip with me, you'll be using live bait. So that'll give you the best chance of catching a fish. You can't get better than live smelt, guys. Look at these baits, pretty, um, really beautiful baits. So I'm gonna transfer her over some of these smell. Just do it with my hands. Ooh, we got an escapee. Okay, so if you guys can see here, got about half of them in there. Nice and happy still. So I have about 30 in here, 30 in here. These will stay alive for at least two days. Just make sure that you don't let your battery die on your bubble box. They'll all die pretty quickly. If you guys wanna purchase a cast net like this, I'll leave a link in the description below. I will also leave the link to the bubble box here. Real quick, I'm gonna show you guys how I hook my live bait. I use a size two octopus hook and a size six treble hook. And I just go through the side of the nose here. When God made fish, he made a really hard spot on their nose so you could put your hook in it. And then see, you just put him back in and he's swimming around. He's not very happy, but he's gonna catch fish. And as you can see, the treble kind of just hangs there. This bait is small enough. If a halibut sees it, he's just going to swallow it. Treble and all. So that's the only way I like to hook it on the kayak, guys. Through the nose. And then let the treble just dangle there. If the bait was a little bigger, I would pin it into the tail a little more. Just for those short strikes. But that's how you do it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please like and subscribe. And until next time.
I'll see you later.